Can you get your case dropped even if you committed the crime you're charged with? There are three issues that go into a prosecutor's thinking when they're deciding to charge you. Hi, I'm Bill Yamansky, the lawman. Almost every day we get a question from new potential clients that we go in through a conference and they talk to us about their charge. And a lot of times, I hate to say it, they're guilty. And they tell us, look, I'm guilty. I did it. There's proof against me. Um, but I've never been in trouble before. Can't they just drop it? I don't want to do any kind of program or anything. I just want to drop it because I'm a good person. And I, I've never done anything before. And I deserve a second chance. Why can't they just drop it? I mean, that's why I'm hiring a lawyer, right? Well, there's about three main important issues that a prosecutor looks at that makes a difference in whether they decide they're going to charge you or not. First issue the prosecutor is going to look at is whether they can prove the elements of the crime. When they look at the crime itself, they're not looking to see whether you're a good person or a bad person. They're going to see if you have a prior history, and that is important, and that could make it easier for them to file on it. And if you have no prior history, they can look at the elements and kind of slide it so it's easier not to file the charges, which gets you the case dismissed. But they're going to look at the elements. What are the elements of the crime? And do they have the evidence to meet each one of those uh, elements beyond a reasonable doubt? That has nothing to do with you being a good person, a churchgoer, religious, spiritual, community service, good person all around, except this mistake. Nothing to do with that. So that's the first issue they're going to look at. Second issue that prosecutors will look at to see if this is a victim crime or a victimless crime. So assuming that they can prove the elements beyond a reasonable doubt, they're going to want to get the victims said, especially now in the state of Florida after Marcy's law, where victims have a lot of rights. They can stand up for themselves. So they're going to ask the victim, what do you want to do with the charges? Now, here's what's good. The victim wants to drop the charge. That's great because the state may now agree and take care of getting rid of the charges against you. But the victim objects and the prosecutor has that evidence against you beyond a reasonable doubt, it may not matter that you have no prior history and that this was just a silly mistake. So the victim impact is gonna be very, very important. The third issue that a prosecutor will look at, it's less likely than the other two, are if there are any legal issues that can cause the prosecutor to think about not filing charges. For instance, police misconduct, uh, like a legal search and seizure, uh, maybe some witness unavailability or credibility issues because of the witnesses, uh, maybe because there was government overreach, or maybe because there was a political climate uh, that is not right to press these cases forward, even if the person's guilty. But none of those three things usually have anything to do with you, the person that got accused, unfortunately, that you're a good guy or girl or gal. So those are the three things, those are the three issues that prosecutors typically look at. Beyond, they want to know if they can prove that case beyond a reasonable doubt. They want to see what the victim wants to do. And they're looking for some of those other things like political climate or police misconduct or witness credibility. Those are the three major issues that prosecutors look, like, look at uh, in, in determining whether to drop charges. Now, don't despair. Hiring a lawyer in that situation can be very beneficial to you. The lawyer can argue why they can't meet the burden of proof, even if you are guilty of the crime. Maybe they don't have the evidence to prove it. Second thing is maybe the lawyer can contact the victim and try to get the victim not to agree to press charges. And the third thing is the lawyer can possibly expose that police misconduct or in a, politically ca a political case, take a stand in the media so that they put pressure on the prosecutor's office to dump or drop a charge. I hope this has been helpful. I hope it answers your question. I know most people have that question. Why can't I just get the case dropped without doing anything when I'm a good person? And I hope that really helps you. I'm not trying to sound negative. We're here to help you. I want to answer whatever questions that you have. You call the lawman, 407-228-3838. Lawman out.